our position is thoroughly identified with the institution of slavery, the greatest material interest of the world. Its labor supplies the products which constitutes by far the largest, most important portions of commerce of the earth. These products are peculiar to the climate, verging on the tropical regions, and by an imperious law of nature, none but the black race can bear exposure to the tropical sun. A blow has been long aimed at the institution of slavery, and was at the point of reaching its consummation. There was no choice left us but submission to the mandates of abolition of slavery, or a dissolution of the Union, whose principles had been subverted to work out our ruin, that we do not overstate the dangers to our institution of slavery. The hostility to this institution of slavery, commenced before the adoption of the Constitution, and was manifested in the well-known Ordinance of 1787, in regard to the Northwestern Territory. The feeling increased, until, in 1819, it deprived the southern states of more than half, of the vast territory acquired from France. It has grown until it denies the right of property in slaves, and refuses protection to that right on the high seas, in the territories and wherever the government of the United States had jurisdiction. It refuses the admission of new slave states into the Union, and seeks to extinguish slavery by confining it within its present limits, denying the power of expansion. It has nullified the fugitive slave law in almost every free state in the Union, and has utterly broken the compact which our fathers pledged their faith to maintain. It advocates Negro equality socially and politically, and promotes insurrection and incendiarism in our midst, 